हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रियंका सो इन टूडे वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू रिगार्डिंग द डायग्नोसिस एंड मेडिकल मैनेजमेंट सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट एंड नर्सिंग मैनेजमेंट ऑफ टॉन्सिलाइटिस एंड एट द एंड द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ओके सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस विद यू रिगार्डिंग द अनाटमी डेफिनेशन कॉजेज टाइप्स साइन एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ द टॉन्सिलाइटिस so today video i am starting with the diagnosis of tonsillitis so first of all i give you just a uh, review regarding the topic so tonsillitis is the inflammation of the tonsils okay and the uh, tonsils are the glands that protect our throat that we already discuss and we also discuss regarding the function of the tonsils so the main function of the tonsil is to stop the entry of the germ in the body through the nose and the oral cavity okay and it kill the germs also so main etiological factor i had already discussed with you the main etiological factor bacteria ki wajah se hota hai and the main bacteria that cause tonsils is the streptococcus pyogenes and uh, it also uh, due to the viral infection or uh, virus and uh, other causes are the otitis media is also one of the cause of the tonsillitis a poor nutrition is also the cause of tonsillitis poor dental hygiene is also a cause of tonsillitis so these all are the causes of the tonsils then i discuss with you regarding the types there are three types acute recurrent and chronic then this main sign and symptoms okay so today video i am going to start with the diagnosis so what are the diagnosis of the tonsillitis so firstly we have to do the history collection secondly we have to do the physical examination so under examination if i am talking about the tonsillitis then we have to do the examination of the throat obviously so under throat examination we have to focus on the three main aspects and what are these three main aspects we have to focus that if there is a redness or swelling of the tonsils if there is any pus pus pocket in the tonsils and if there is any discharge from the tonsils so these are the three aspects we focused at the time of examination okay next diagnosis is the we have to take a throat swab so we can get a sample from the secretion from the back of the throat and we have to take a throat swab next is the monospore test so what ha uh, what we have to do under the monospore test a blood test can detect the special antibodies which can help to confirm that person symptom is due to mononucleosis or not because the main causes of the tonsillitis i already discussed with you the one of the cause of the tonsillitis is the infectious mononucleosis and the example of infectious mononucleosis is epstein bar virus okay so in monospore test what we have to do a blood test can detect the special antibodies and which can help to confirm the if the symptom of the tonsillitis is due to the mononucleosis or not next is the epstein barr virus antibodies if the monospore test is negative and antibodies in the blood against ebb might help to diagnose the mononucleosis also because infectious mononucleosis jo hai that is one of the cause of the tonsillitis and the example of the infectious mononucleosis is the epstein barr virus okay and the last test that we have to do is a blood test and the blood test we have to include the complete blood count and uh, uh, with the help of a complete blood count we have to detect a infection inside the patient body okay next is the management so under management management is divided into the three categories first of all we have to discuss regarding the medical management then we move towards the surgical management at the end we have to discuss about the nursing management so what comes under the medical management if i am talking about the medical management means we have to give medicines we have to focus mainly on the medicines what medicines we have to give to the patient if the patient is having a tonsillitis so tonsillitis is the inflammation of the tonsils and that is due to the infections and if there is an infection then antibiotics uh, sorry antibiotics is must 
दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो जब भी किसी को इन्फेक्शन होता है तो एंटीबायोटिक्स तो मैंडेटरी है देना ठीक है इन्फेक्शन को प्रिवेंट करने के लिए रोकने के लिए सो वट द एंटीबायोटिक्स बी प्रेफर इन केस ऑफ द टॉन्सिलाइटिस सो फर्स्टली वी हैव टू गिव अ पेनिसलिन टू द पेशेंट सो डॉक्टर प्रिस्क्राइब पेनिसलिन फॉर मोस्टली सेवन टू टेन डेज बट इफ द योर पेशेंट इज हैविंग अ एलर्जी फ्रॉम द पेनिसलिन देन एट द इन द प्लेस ऑफ पेनिसलिन यू हैव टू गिव एरिथ्रोमाइसिन टू द पेशेंट नेक्स्ट इज द एनालिसिक सो एनालिसिक में आप क्या दे सकते हो यू हैव टू गिव एस्पिरिन और पैरासीटामोल पी सी एम ओके सो पी सी एम कैन एक्ट हैव अ टू फंक्शन इट कैन एक्ट ऑल्सो हैव अ एंटी पैरेटिक एंड इट कैन एक्ट एज अ एनालिसिक ऑल्सो एंड इफ द पेशेंट इज हैविंग इन्फेक्शन सो ऑलरेडी पेशेंट को फीवर तो होगा ही सो यू हैव टू गिव पैरासीटामोल इट do both function as a analgesic also it can do function as a analgesic also and as a antipyretic also okay other main management is you have to advise the patient to increase the fluid intake next salt water gargles karne ko aap bol sakte ho and uh, you have to advise patient to take a proper rest and uh, in case of uh, that's all about the medical management of the tonsillitis next is the surgical management so under surgical management if the patient is not treated properly and the, at the end you have to do the surgery and under surgery the surgery name that we done in case of tonsillitis is the tonsillectomy okay agar patient ko if the patient has a difficulty in speaking theek hai use bolne mein difficulty aa rahi hai patient ko saans lene mein problem aa rahi hai respiratory uh, problem aa rahi hai theek hai to at the time at that time surgery is mandatory so in in case of tonsillitis we have to do the tonsillectomy okay next is the nursing management so according to nurse what is your duty you have to assess the general condition of the patient secondly what you have to do if the patient is uh, taking medicine so it's your duty you have to provide or um, you have to provide the medication to the patient timely so that patient can recover easily okay you can educate the patient regarding the if disease condition and you also educate the patient uh, family members because hum uh, child ki baat kar rahe hai na so at, at in that case you have to educate the patient uh, family members regarding the disease condition as a nurse you provide the psychological support to the patient and uh, you also advise the patient to take uh, plenty of food and take uh, rest properly and aapko uh, ye supervise bhi karna hai ki ye sari cheeze patient kar raha hai ya nahi kar raha aur as a nurse aap follow up care ke bare mein bhi patient ko advise kar sakte ho okay or you also tell the patient that why the follow up is necessary to you that is also the duty of the nurse so ye sare points jo hain wo aap ek nursing management mein include kar sakte ho okay next is the complication so what are the complication of the tonsillitis first complication is the peritonsillar abscess second one is the parapharyngeal abscess third is the otitis media that is also one of the complication of the tonsillitis aur iske alawa aur kya complication ho sakti hai tonsillitis ki so the last complication of the tonsillitis is the rheumatic fever okay rheumatic fever is the complication of tonsillitis mein aata hai so that's all about 